You hold these people up and say they're artists, and you put them very much in the public light and lionize them. I think you have to realize that what you're doing is establishing them as peer models. They begin to say, ah, oh, that's my goal in life. But where do they practice it? They're going to practice it on the subways. They're going to practice it on the public buildings. What's different about that than holding up as peer models somebody who's a successful gambler or somebody who has been successful in, in, in any other kind of illegal narcotics and so on? And if you show them with all the trappings of success and that becomes a peer, you are having a whole generation of people who begin to copy that. You know. I make a very strong presentation on this. Uh, I call it a cancer. I also say that it is only a small part of graffiti. I've seen some of this. Well, we hope the peer pressure is going to happen through some of the media work that we're doing, where we have people, and, and, and partly in uh, television and partly in radio campaigns, who are saying, make your mark in society, not on society. And the kinds of people that we've used in that media campaign are appealing to what we would call peer pressure. In other words, we have come out of the same environments of many of you who are doing graffiti. We do not think it's a good way to succeed. We think there are other ways to succeed. And I feel that's a very important way of attacking a certain segment of the group.